We live in a day and age of compromise. What we believe as Christians is of utmost importance. We should be prepared to stand for what we believe, to defend it when necessary, to live it, and to continue to love as ambassadors of Christ. Today, the question I have for us is this. What are some of the vital beliefs that we as Christians should hold true? Welcome to Mixtape Theology. I'm Dr. Ashley, and I'm glad that you're here. At Mixtape Theology, myself and Rachel Cash dig into the theology behind some of our favorite 90s contemporary Christian music, as well as remember the culture, some of the fun things we did, and some of the dumb things we did. Today, I want to talk about top-tier beliefs in Christianity. Several years ago, I learned from Dr. Albert Moeller, the president of the seminary where I went to school, I learned a, a, a great tool in understanding beliefs. And he laid out a tertiary idea, three levels or tiers of beliefs. There would be the top tier beliefs. These are the non-negotiables. These separate Christianity from non-Christianity. Examples of a top tier belief would be that Jesus is the only way to heaven or that we are born as sinners or that the Bible is the inspired word of God. Second tier beliefs are the things that we might disagree on, but they don't separate Christianity or Christians from non-Christians. These would be the things that separate us by denominations. Maybe an example would be um, the manifestations of the Holy Spirit or what we believe about spiritual gifts. These are things that we look in the Bible and we need to, to really study and understand why we believe what we believe and they separate us by denominations and we should stand with our denomination and our biblical reason for those things but they don't say Christian and non-Christian they would just divide us um, amongst those various church bodies. Then there is the third level and these are the things that we can agree to disagree on yet still be in the same church or set in the same Bible study. An example of this might be our view of eschatology or what's going to happen in the end of times. There are so many different interpretations. People can look at the same scriptures and have different ideas of what these mean and still be in the same church. I learned in seminary, all my professors who were a lot smarter than I was and am had different ideas on the, the timing of Jesus's return. So you're watching this video and you may be pre-trib, post-trib, amillennial, post-millennial, or pan-millennial, which means that you just think that it's all gonna pan out in the end and Jesus has got us. And we can, we can study those things together and have different interpretations. The issues arise when people turn a third level idea into a first level idea. And then you begin to have unnecessary divisions in the church. Or what's even uh, scarier is when a first level thing becomes a third level thing. And when that happens, we lose Christianity. There's a song in 1995 by the artist Wes King entitled Common Creed. In that song, Wes King lays out what I believe are some great top level non-negotiable beliefs in Christianity. In the first verse, he talks about love and mercy, giving, growing in grace, giving our life away. These would all be encompassed in loving our neighbor as ourselves. That is a top tier belief, love. Then in the pre-course, he talks about a house divided will never stand. And he begins to lay out even what more of those non-negotiables are. First, he says that we have a common struggle. The common struggle is sin. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. In Genesis chapter three, when Adam sinned, the entire human race fell into sin. In fact, nature itself fell into sin. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, in verses 21 and 22, the apostle Paul says that in Adam, all died. This is the belief of original sin and we are born as sinners. This common struggle is a top tier belief. Then West King talks about a common table, the body and the blood. 
Romans chapter 5, verse 8, the Apostle Paul said that God demonstrated his love to us in this, that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. This is the common table, that Jesus is the only way that we can find forgiveness of sins and be in a relationship with God. This is about substitutionary atonement. Again, a top tier belief. And then he says, we have a common savior, Jesus. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus is the only way to heaven. This is a top tier belief. I love in the bridge how Wes King continues to talk about some of these important top tier non-negotiable beliefs. As he says, I believe in God the Father, Jesus Christ, his only son. There is one way to the Father. And then he says this very important theological belief by grace through faith alone. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, the Apostle Paul really lays out clearly what are some things that are of most importance. In verse 3, Paul says, For I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received. And here is what is of most importance, top tier, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures. That idea of substitutionary atonement, that we only find forgiveness and life and a relationship with God through Jesus, that is a non-negotiable Christian belief and also in accordance with the scriptures. The Apostle Paul references the inspiration of the scriptures that give us this belief. We as Christians must never falter in our understanding and standing for this. Then in verse 4, he gives us more non-negotiables. That Jesus was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection is a top-tier belief. God is the standard, his word is the standard, and also grace is the standard. In verse 10, Paul says, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. Us relying on God's grace and his sovereignty and his love and his mercy and our utter dependence on him is something we should never negotiate. It is a top tier belief. As we stand on his word, as we trust in him alone, we can never sacrifice or compromise the gospel because when we do that, we open the door to this slippery slope that is going to lead to unsecure foundations and not living hope in Jesus. Remember, don't let those third level things become first level things. Then we begin to become divided by things that shouldn't divide us. And when we let first level things become third level things, we lose Christianity. Thanks for watching today. We'd love for you to comment and discuss what you believe the Bible tells us are top tier non-negotiable beliefs in Christianity. So comment on any of our social media platforms, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And remember, in this day and age of compromise and division, what we need is a common creed.